This video will cover the topic, writing an equation that models exponential growth or decay. In this video, we will look at a real world situation that has to do with exponential growth or decay, and we will learn how to write an equation that models the situation. Here's our example. At the beginning of a population study, a city had 330,000 people. Each year since, the population has grown by 4.6%. Let t be the number of years since start of the study. Let y be the city's population. Write an exponential function showing the relationship between y and t. A basic model for an exponential growth or decay function is y equals p times the quantity of 1 plus or minus r to the t, where p is the starting amount, r is the rate of change, t is the amount of time passed, and y will be the final amount after a certain amount of time. In the parentheses, it will be 1 plus r if it's an exponential growth model, and it will be 1 minus r if it's exponential decay. So is it only a manner of plugging given numbers in this equation? Yes. So I see several numbers in the problem. Where should I start? Let's start with the first number, 330,000. It says in the problem that this number is the population at the beginning of the study. So that is p then, right? Correct. Now we just need to figure out what r, the rate of change, is. Because we don't need to find t. It will be the manipulated variable in this problem. It says in the problem that the population increases by 4.6% each year. So what do you think 4.6% is supposed to be? I think that 4.6 is r, right? Close. 4.6% is r, but not 4.6. Remember that when we write a percent as a decimal, we move the decimal place to the left two places. Therefore, our r for this function will be 0 0.046. Now that we have our r and our p, we can write the equation. So we have, at first, y equals 330,000 times the quantity of 1 plus 0 0.046 to the t, and it is 1 plus 0 0.046 because we have an exponential growth model because the population is increasing and not decreasing. Then we can simplify this to y equals 330,000 times 1.046 to the t, and this is our final answer. That makes sense. If I know the formula y equals p times the quantity of 1 plus or minus r to the power of t, and I have a principal amount and a rate of change, I can write an equation that models any exponential growth or decay situation, right? Yes, good insight.